participant in this program should be very prepared to be stunned and amazed at every single corner that they could turn in Paris because I know I spent most of the two months in a constant state of swooning because everywhere you look there's either Notre Dame or a park that's incredible or another cathedral or the Louvre and it just doesn't stop and it never gets old. <laughs> it was uh, exciting to see that uh, the research we did actually provided results and they wanted to continue on with it and uh, it, got actually, it actually got people that excited. Come on there. A great time with research. Uh, getting to know the people and working with them in my lab. Uh, they were all very kind and welcoming people. It was nice. Also want to try the food because actually you're going to have to try the food when, when you live here because you don't want to starve. But the good thing is the food is very good because unlike in America, the chefs here really, um, they care about their products. So, I mean, they do in America, but they consider it almost an artwork and they want you to enjoy it. So there are a lot of great restaurants that you need to visit. The nightlife is great as well, but make sure that you get to the train station before midnight because once those trains stop working, you're gonna have to walk back to your, to your hostel or wherever you're living. Well, immediately when I get back, I'm gonna have some Mexican food. I know my advisor really likes the project I was doing here, so I might do something similar for my senior thesis. My life has changed because I knew I wanted to be a physicist and a researcher, um, but I learned this summer that I think I would like to be a physicist and a researcher in France, or at least somewhere in Europe, um, and possibly actually go to grad school over here, which is something that I had never even really considered before coming. Good luck and have fun and be really quiet on the train or they'll get really mad. <laughs> It was really cool. Um, it was it was really cool because there were so many international students. I worked with people from Brazil and China and the Ukraine and, and all over France. It was great. The coolest thing I learned, or maybe the coolest thing that I got out of this program, was how truly international science was. To be able to have people from so many different countries around the world come together and work on common problems. I thought was just incredible. I think that being in Paris has really changed my life because it's opened me to a lot of new cultures but a lot of new beliefs as well. I think Paris is a wonderful place to be full of really, really nice people if you get to know them. And it really is the city of love. People are really open to a lot of new experiences, not just for the love of love, but for the love of life. Walking up the hill at Sacre Coeur and looking down at the just breathtaking view of Paris that you would not expect to see from walking up that little hill. <laughs> Definitely do that. It was interesting working with, on the last research project I did, working with a black body source for the first time. I'd never worked with them before and I never really thought about it. When we worked with the, in the infrared spectrometer, I was a little surprised at first when we cooled it with nickel nitrogen because you know intuitively, well, at some level that infrared light is actually just heat, but you never really think about it until you actually have to work with it. I'd like to talk to you about how to ensure to have a great research and personal experience in Paris over the summer. And really, the one thing I'm going to say is don't be timid with anything. I know you're in a new city and people here don't speak the same language as you, but you're not going to have a good time if you're afraid to go out and try new things. Go out. If you make a fool of yourself, who cares? No one that you make a fool of yourself around will probably ever see you again. 